We're at the Oklahoma City Farm Show right now. This is the first time I've ever been to a farm show and it's really pretty cool to be here. So hey, we're in Oklahoma City at the Bennett Event Center. This is the Oklahoma Farm Show. We didn't take a lot of video, but we thought we'd share a little bit with you now. Right now I'm sitting in a Coyote RX7320. This is, this is one of the tractors that I looked at whenever I was looking for my LS. These are nice tractors, okay? These are really are nice tractors. And, and we have, we're looking at the 7320 right now just to see what, they, see what it looks like. And pretty soon they'll be gonna be coming out with an RX7340, which will be more set up like the tractor we're getting ready to go look at. But for right now, take a look at this 7320. It is a nice little tractor to have. If you're looking for you're looking for a Coyote, and you're looking for about a 70 horsepower tractor. These are nice as well. So all your maintenance is on is, is in your fuel filter, your oil filter. This is where you check your oil. I do I do like the way they did their loader here. This is all compact. It's up tight, up high. Even though this is a saddle tape or fuel. Mm -hmm. Something I have to say about the Coyote tractors is number one, uh, these 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 loaders are have a really thick frame to them, very heavy compared to uh, even to my LS. This frame is a lot thicker, and I like that. So far as the Coyote design, I do like the Coyote's design. They've done a really good job. You do have you do have your three point lift here in order to be able to when you're attaching implements, you, you can lift it up and down from here. Um, They've done a really good job with the sway bars as well. This is just a pull pin style and it moves uh, freely. Whereas on the LS, my LS, it has the uh, type of uh, sway bar that you have to screw and unscrew. I like the Coyote setup a little, a lot better than, than what I do on my LS. So on, my, on my LS though, it came standard with three remotes. This one only comes standard with one remote. I do, I do still like the Coyote, but you have to add these remotes. Now keep in mind the Coyote actually runs a little bit cheaper uh, in price tag, but then you start to, you still you still have to add these remotes if you need more remotes. In our hundred hour review, we talked about how the top link, you know, hooked into it and it would fall hooked into its uh, slot when it's being transported and how it would fall. Well, they use the wire here. And this is a better system in my opinion even though it's a simple system it really works nice <clears throat> they do have the heavy cylinders that the assist for assisting in the three-point lift just like the ls does uh, draft control uh, your as far as your pto goes the hood does move out of your way nice system very nice easy check on your hydraulic fluid on this particular one, I'm not sure if it's on all of them, but they do have a trailer plug if you need it. And then they did put your windshield wiper fluid on the outside of the tractor, and then they protected it with a steel panel. This tractor also, just like we've talked about in our reviews that we've had on, on Coyote tractors, it does come with a rear wiper. And I do like where they put the, the uh, slow moving sign, it's out of the way. It doesn't interfere with the back window. Now this particular tractor also has a defrost on the windshield. I find that pretty interesting. It is a six post cab uh, and all their, on the inside of the tractor, because they do have a six post cab, they put all their switches on that one of those posts. So my only complaints really in the cab uh, on this on this Coyote is that the cab is smaller than my LS. They do not use an air ride seat on the 7320, but it's still it's still a nice seat. They've done a good job here. Uh, one of the things I want to make sure that I say while we're doing this is that I think Coyote makes a great tractor, and I'm not trying to to make sure that we're not running Coyote down in any fashion, form, or way. What I'm saying is just a comparison between the two. Coyote has done an excellent job on their tractors and they're well worth looking at. All right, so here we are. This is an HX115. This is an awesome tractor. That's all there is to it. Coyote has done a super job on this tractor. 
they have they have increased the horsepower on this tractor, the size of this tractor. This is a, this is not a small tractor, as you can see. Remember, I am six foot four, and the hood is actually almost as tall as I am. It's pretty close. This is a nice nice tractor. This thing has a super heavy loader on it. Uh, it's well designed. This is well designed. If you look at the inside of this tractor, if you look at the creature comforts that are on the inside of this tractor, they're going to be putting a lot of these same creature comforts into the RX 7340 pretty soon whenever that tractor comes out on the market. The cab is going to be bigger, everything. It's a much nicer, much larger tractor. I firmly believe that if Coyote keeps going the way they are, and they design their 70 horsepower tractor like they designed this HX-115, I believe they are going to give the competition a real run for their money. It does have three, it does have three remotes on it. That's a cool, it uses some very large and, and, and nice um, assist cylinders on this thing. These are very well done, very nice. And then they have the uh, adjustable sway bars that you do not have to screw in and out. These are these are well done here. So they do use the electronic switches here to move your three-point up and down. But they have them on both fenders, it's not just on one. That's pretty cool. So I'm sitting in a Yanmar YT 359. This is a nice little tractor. Um, it's about 59, right around 60 horsepower. Nice tractor. Probably the only biggest issue I have with it is I wish the seat would go back a little farther. Uh, it does have a suspension seat in it. Air conditioning has about has five vents. Uh, in this particular model right here, does not have a radio in it. Uh, so that may be an option for this. It does have side mirrors. It's a nice tractor. This is this is a, a you know you're looking for a small tractor to get your you know your work done. I think Yanmar is well worth looking at. They are they they make a they they make a fine tractor. You might want to take a look at the Yanmar tractors. Um, they have a special transmission in them, and I'm not even going to try to explain that to you. Uh, but they they've got a really nice transmission that uh, that is is way different than anything else. So standard with two remotes. And that's not easy to find on compact tractors, by the way. Cup holders, storage, a lot of storage on here on this side. It has the uh, has a three range transmission. This has a has a mechanical four wheel drive on and off. It uses a, a 540 PTO here. It has a neutral position in it. It has your differential lock that you would hit with your heel. A lot of nice features in this tractor. At this show, I think this one's selling for around 48, about 48, 49,000, somewhere in there, 48, nine, I believe. Uh, but that's the show price. And this is 2024, so I'm just telling you what, what I see on the sticker, but it's a nice little tractor. 48, nine at the show is about $8,000 off the normal price. Uh, but if you're looking for a small utility, uh, compact style tractor, uh, this is definitely worth looking at. So look, I know this is a little bit different than what we normally shoot. We don't normally do farm shows, okay? Normally we're giving you uh, the review on the LS and some things that go on around the farm. Um, but at the same time, we thought we would just throw in a little bit of video of what was at the Oklahoma farm show. We looked at the Coyote tractors and the Yanmar tractors. LS was a no-show, they were not there, um, which was disappointing. But, it, but, in the, but in the meantime, we did get to see a lot of stuff. There are a lot of vendors there, a lot of booths. You know, if you have an opportunity to go to one of the farm shows, take advantage of it. 
But um, stick around now to, to the end. I'm going to show you one of the Coyote ATVs. But until next time, thanks. Check this out in this suite. This is a Coyote. K9 2440. Boy, these things got more gadgets than my truck does. Very, very nice. This is a diesel powered unit. Very nice.